walked away from the table from you, and then all of a sudden we get a press release two days later, you're back with the team. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Take us through the process of how you you know came through and reached the deal with the Bandits. Uh, well, just looking at some of the uh, the talks between uh, you know Buffalo and myself, they were, they were never really uh, negative, for lack of a better word. They're positive, um, and the lines of communications remained open. And uh, eventually, we came to a, an agreement, and that's it. And move forward with the season and trying to help the Bandits try and win. win. Now, on defense, there's obviously a lot of guys who are out there, NLL caliber defensemen. You know, the roster size has gone down to 18 this year. And and Chugs basically came out and said that nothing's going to be handed to anybody. And you got to earn it. So looking forward to tonight and moving forward to next week and headed into the season, how do you plan to prepare? Well, I think uh, the league year over year keeps getting quicker and faster. Um, players are definitely more skilled and uh and quicker uh, each year, so it's important to stay in shape and be ready to go in camp, um, and also being able to show that you can run the floor, uh, provide speed and skill, and, and help this team uh, contribute as far as scoring goes as well, um, especially uh, with the numbers being reduced as far as guys playing this year, it's it's even more important for guys being in shape and, uh, and being able to contribute in all aspects. Are, are, are you, I mean, Obviously, coming to Buffalo and staying in Buffalo probably wasn't the most difficult decision considering the number of the fans and the atmosphere around here in Buffalo and Southern Ontario. Yeah, I mean, Buffalo's tremendous, and I said that the year previous when I came here, it's a, it's a phenomenal building, phenomenal fan base. Um, you know, Buffalo fans deserve a, a winning lacrosse team uh, in Buffalo, uh, especially after last year. Uh, I was new to the team last year and didn't make the playoffs, so... Uh, that doesn't sit well with the club or, or the organization as far as uh, this year. Um, you know, Troy Cornley is bringing a winning presence to the club as well, so it's important we get started on the right foot and, uh, and start moving towards a winning season with Buffalo. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. Thanks. So